G'day, I'm Gary Pai. I've been working with Cartoon Animator now for a number of years, and I know my way around the software pretty well. But what if you're new to Cartoon Animator? What if today is the first day that you've opened the software? Where do you start? Where do you begin? How do you start learning? These are my tips for where to start on day one of Cartoon Animator. The software can be quite daunting when you first open it up because it's huge. There is so much this software can do. But the good news is the software will work with you. When you're a beginner, it's nice and easy. There's simple tools that you can use that will get you animating straight away. But as your experience grows, as your skills grow, the software will grow with you and you're gonna be able to produce some really cool animation. But the question is, where to start. So if today's your first time using Cartoon Animator, here's a couple of tips that I thought might help you. The first three things that you need to learn, in my opinion, as an animator with Cartoon Animator are the Z-axis, your timeline, and your keyframing. Learn how these three things work and everything else will slowly fall into place. So essentially, what are these three things? First of all, your Z-axis. Think of it like this. You've got three axes. Your x-axis moves everything side to side. Your y-axis moves everything up and down. And your z-axis moves everything in and out, creating a sense of depth in your animation. Your timeline and your keyframing work together. Every single part of a character in your animation, every prop, every part of the background, has its own track on the timeline where you can control it. And the keyframes are the points in time where motion occurs, where change occurs, to anything on that timeline. Once you learn how to do the keyframing, life is gonna be a lot easier. But what you need to do is to make it a priority to sit down and watch all the fantastic YouTube videos that Reillusion has created on its channel. This is your best source of learning. Other than that, if you get stuck, you send me an email to garypie at reillusion.com and I can point you in the right direction for different resources that will help you get animating with Cartoon Animator now. Thanks for watching, bye bye.